Hi and welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing a video request. And uh, today's request comes in from Lion Tech Pro. He says, great video, keep it up. Thank you. Uh, just show how to apply primary key, please. All right, so this one's going to take place in Microsoft Access 2016, and I'm going to talk to you about the primary key and what it could be used for and how to use it. I'm also going to show you one of the main mistakes that people make when they uh, use Microsoft Access and they don't know what the primary key is. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here I have a uh, Microsoft Access table. It's just a states table. It just shows you some various states over here, and uh, it shows you the acronym for the state as well as the state name. Now, if I was making this table here and I was making it with 50, states on here I would obviously not ever want to repeat myself on any one state right so the way that I could avoid not repeating myself is with the primary key so the way that I'm going to do that is right now I'm looking at this table in data sheet view I'm going to go to the home tab views group and I'm going to click on this view arrow and you'll see here the design view is available. Another way to get to the design view is by clicking on this icon right here for design view or along the status bar down here at the bottom. You can see on this right side right over here. Uh, actually, I think my camera's in the way, so let me move that up. Right here is where the design view is also located. All right, so there we go. So you can get to the design view any way that you want. And so I'm gonna just click right there on the design view and it takes me here. All right, so I'm in here, I'm looking at the fields and the data types. And so in the design view is where we can change and edit uh, our primary key. And so if I say I want state to never repeat itself, first I'm gonna click on the gray box, the left of state. So I see the pink border around the entire field name. And then once I know that that is selected, I could go to the table tools design tab and in the tools group, you're gonna see this button right here, primary key. Designate the selected field or fields as the primary key. So what the primary key does is the primary key is a unique identifier, meaning if I were to type in uh, California or CA, then I would not be able to type in CA on a new record. It would prompt me, letting me know that the primary key will not allow that. So I currently have state selected. I'm gonna select primary key right there. And so now that'll change it. So if I try to switch back to the data sheet view now, well, first, as soon as I select it, it becomes a uh, grayed out right here. And you see a little key symbol next to the word state. And then if I go back to the data sheet view, it's gonna prompt me to save it. Remember, whenever you make design or layout changes, it's gonna prompt you to save in Microsoft Access. So you click yes. And then I go here, all right? So that's how you designate your primary key. Now, if I try to type in any of these, looks like six state names right here, it's going to prompt me, letting me know that I cannot do that. So uh, that's how you designate the primary key. Now I'm gonna show you one of the common mistakes that people make in Microsoft Access. So if I'm right down here, and let's say I don't see that I have Idaho right here, and I just start to type in ID and then Idaho, and then I go to hit tab or next, I'm gonna get this error message. Now, if you don't know what the primary key is, you're not gonna know what this error message means. And it says, the changes you requested the table were not successful because they would create duplicate values in the index, primary key, or relationship. Change the data in the field that contains duplicate data, remove the index, or redefine the index uh, to duplicate the entries and try again. So most people get this message, they don't know what the heck it means. So you click okay, and then you're back here, and if you don't know that this is the primary key, it's gonna be hard for you to change that, right? So if you ever get that message, you just press escape, and it'll delete everything that you have there, and then you could restart from that uh, particular record. So I hope this video has helped you out. I have a whole, uh, list of videos, playlist of videos on Access, Microsoft Word, Excel, and soon to be PowerPoint, as well as a few other things like job search skills. If you're still watching the video at this point, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and please click on uh, any of these other videos and you will be able to go check those ones out as well. Thank you so much for joining.